Well, what's up guys? Justin here with a quick update for you. We got our fire safety sprinkler system installed. So you may remember back here in the mechanical room, talked all about this plumbing in the other video. So the main water line is going to come up through the floor there. Like we said, this is going to tee off and go over the house supply. And we've told you we have this stub left here for the sprinkler system. So that has now been connected. Uh, the plumber guy was out here to do it. They don't let you DIY this one, which was all right because I'm about done with plumbing and they're super fast. They had it done in a couple hours. So anyway, this is uh, the beginning of the system. You know, this is what they call the system riser. So they got their check valve here and then it transitions to CPVC. So all this kind of orange looking pipe, I guess, is CPVC. It kind of tees out to a purge valve right there as well as a pressure gauge and then it continues up through the mechanical room the first sprinkler is right there in this room because uh, we're required to have one there and then it kind of transitions off and runs around the ceiling different directions so it actually kind of makes a loop uh, you can see it goes that way towards the living room the sprinkler spacing is all kinds of rules about how far it can be from this and that. So it's kind of the other reason I guess it's good to have someone else do it. Anyway, it kind of comes back this way. It's a little easier to walk this way. So there's a couple of sprinklers here. There's got to be another one here over the washing machine. There's one here in the bedroom. There actually has to be one upstairs near the HRV. So there's a few of them that kind of just have to go around. It makes a big loop. You can see kind of just comes in here inside the bedroom and then you can see the orange pipe there heading back down through the kitchen uh, and so forth so all in all it's uh, not our favorite thing most people I guess don't like having sprinkler systems either what most people don't know is it is actually in the IRC since 2009 most states haven't adopted it because well, I don't know. It's expensive and adds to the cost of housing. California is one of them. Maryland is the other. Uh, it's worth noting another thing about the way the system works right here. You can see we haven't quite connected it, but there is a half inch line that we're going to connect to the run from the basically about about the furthest distance away from the riser is kind of we're on the opposite side. That's the way that you purge the water through it. So it's going to connect back over here. This PEX line is going to come down, and that's what feeds the toilet. So we didn't know that before, and we actually already put that line in, but we had to move it because they want water getting drawn through the piping system fairly regularly, but they don't want you to drink it. So the best place to use it is the toilet. So that's the passive purge on the system. Anyway, it keeps coming around here, and uh, a couple more sprinklers eventually comes back and then makes the loop back around into the mechanical room. So that's how it works. Have to have it. If you're in California, you have to have it too. We got all this installed for $3,000. All in all, not a bad deal, I guess. Uh, the Guy told me he has heard people telling him they got quotes for four times that amount. So depends on the size of the system, obviously, but can be expensive. Anyway, I guess it's one of the costs of building around here, but that's it for this episode. Hope you found it interesting.